welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a how to refresh your hygiene throughout the day without a shower whether you're at home or just out and about these are the best ways that i found that kind of refresh my hygiene and get rid of any smell if there is any still brush your teeth still shower but this is more so just tips and things you can keep on hand you stay ready so you can stay fresh because we all like to feel fresh and confident and good right so let's just get into it i'll start with breath and mouth care we all hate having bad breath like whenever you acknowledge something wrong with your breath i feel like it's just the worst it sucks even more when you feel like you don't have anything to take care of that so i recommend to keep mints gum breast strips whatever breath spray keep that on hand because you never know when you're gonna eat something and you just don't like the taste of it or if it leaves a bad smell or taste in your mouth so it's just always good to have and actually like gum and mints can help work things out of your teeth so that you don't just have like food stuck in your mouth my favorite thing is mints just because i will run through a pack of gum in like two seconds you can just eat like two or three of these and be cool and they're pretty compact never really had a purse that i couldn't fit my altoids in if i do i can always use these listerine pocket mist which These are actually really, really helpful at getting like a bad taste out of your mouth if you have a bad taste, whether that's from like your mouth being dry, from me being dehydrated, whatever. I think these do a pretty good job of like kind of resetting and refreshing your mouth. And you only need like two sprays max. And they usually come with two or three in a pack. So once you buy like a little pack, you'll have one for a couple different places. Also gum, particularly gum with xylitol in it. So it helps your mouth salivate. So if you deal with dry mouth, whether you have like a customer service job you talk a lot or you're a mouth breather like me sometimes these are really good if you are struggling with dry mouth any gum with xylitol in it it's also supposed to help keep your mouth environment a less acidic environment especially if you snack a lot eating and leaving sugars in your mouth can make your mouth really acidic which can weaken your enamel and also just make your teeth more prone to cavities so what you're supposed to do is take like a xylitol gum chew it for like five minutes after you eat or drink and then don't eat anything for an hour and it's supposed to help your mouth and also just have healthy stronger teeth so there's a reason to buy some gum also in my work bag i used to keep these which are colgate whisk and basically they're like little tiny fake toothbrushes again not a replacement for a real toothbrush but it has like bristles and it has like a burst of like toothpaste or some type of mouth freshener right there and then the end is like a pick literally you can use these after lunch scrub a dub your teeth this is like an all-in-one so you can really scrub your tongue with this get in your teeth with the picker this is just really nice if you get food in your teeth or you just want to do a quick one two one two i didn't use these every day but i remember when i did use these it really did come in clutch so whether you have this or some like floss pickers or what i think these are helpful to have last thing for your mouth lip gloss there's nothing worse than feeling and acknowledging that you have super dry lips feeling cracks in your lip and if you're a dark complexion then dry lips look ashy and it's not <laughs> it's never cute on me so having some type of chapstick or lip gloss is necessary i keep all different types all my purses and bags they have lip gloss in it also just a confidence booster without like like a whole bunch of makeup i would say you know whether you want to just keep like a chapstick i prefer something with a little bit of gloss give yourself options put one or two in there you need to the rest of your body if you are getting a little musty or just you want to refresh some things on your body before going somewhere or doing some things i got you so basically if you are out on the town you're not at home or you're packing a bag and you're going somewhere else wipes are gonna be your best friend so here's my wipes <laughs> I love baby wipes. These are the Target brand. This is just like a small pack. You can just throw these in your bag and they're 99% water. I don't think these are too bad. I don't think they're the best, but they do and they're cheap. Just make sure you get some fragrance free wipes. Preferably the less ingredients the better because you want to be able to also use them 
on your downstairs area and be keeping the pH of everything intact. My favorites, these are water wipes. They're 99.9% .9 water. They have a drop of fruit extract in them. They clean pretty well. So if you are not at home or you just are in a pinch, you're gonna take your wipes and you're gonna use these to basically clean your armpits, under your boobs, basically the odor producing areas. You can also like wipe down your arms and stuff, but those are really, I feel like not as important. One thing that I think is worth keeping on hand witch hazel even though this is not always practical have little small sizes that you can keep with you the reason why i say it is worth it to have this is because this in conjunction with a white is going to kind of help really tackle some of the bacteria on your body that is causing odor so if you just have the wipe fine so be it use the wipe and just use the wipe to clean it down but if you have witch hazel take some witch hazel on the wipe before you start scrubbing and it will really not only help thoroughly cleanse whatever section you're cleansing but it also is going to kill bacteria that causes smell so it's going to it's going to leave you fresher if you don't have witch hazel or you just don't want to keep that with you you can also take hand sanitizer this is like really in a pinch but it works if you have wipes you wipe yourself down it's just a little messy and then at the very end take some hand sanitizer and literally pat it on your armpits and then that will also help kill some of the bacteria that causes odor but i do recommend keeping witch hazel this is like the little size well you can also get just like an empty travel size bottle and fill it up with witch hazel or buy this one time and fill it up over and over it's just really helpful so basically if you're white you're gonna put the witch hazel on there wipe it down and basically just keep on using wipes at your discretion and you can do that for every part of your body especially if you have fragrance free hypoallergenic wipes like i said get the hot spots first it'll differ for everybody because we all have different bodies and different smells but the armpits are a must if you have boobs you know you want to get around in between the cleavage and under if you have like some rolls you're gonna want to get those really just anywhere where there's like crevices anywhere where moisture can hide and sit that's where bacteria loves to flourish so that's where you want to kind of tackle first if you're at home i actually recommend just using a good old rag in some hot water and really like scrubbing down your body i like a nice white one you'll take a couple drops of castile soap and usually what i do is like i'll get this soaking wet with hot water and then i'll take like a corner of it put a couple drops of castile soap on there get it real soapy scrub and then use the other side that isn't soapy to wipe it down scrub wipe it down and then you know rinse and repeat as needed so yeah that'll like tackle basically your whole entire body and then for your downstairs area i wanted to keep that separate because i feel like it's actually easier to just do that on the toilet um yeah so it's probably best to use the bathroom first so you can kind of just pee out anything that might be down there peeing also helps cleanse a little bit down there specifically your urethra so I recommend peeing. If you gotta do number two, I guess girl, do that, do you. What I usually do is I just go ahead, use the bathroom, and then I'll wipe as normal with toilet paper. And then if I'm at home, I'll take the peri bottle, which it'll be filled up with warm water. You can also put a couple drops of Castile soap in this just to give it an extra boost, but you're gonna fill this up with warm water. It creates a stream of water. So you hold it down, you're on the toilet, basically this is a toilet, you're sitting on there, and basically you go between your legs, you don't have to put it inside the toilet or anything, you just put it down and kind of line it up, and it kind of creates a little stream so that you can splash your lady bits and also your, your booty, and you can get back there and you can really get down there and rinse. And then with the Castile soap, it gives it a little bit of a boost, and then you can pat dry with toilet paper. Last thing that I do is I just take a wipe, put a little bit of witch hazel on there and then just wipe my front crevices like where my thighs meet this girl down there and then I'll I'll fold that up and then I'll just wipe down also my booty 
Okay. And I feel like it works fine. Obviously, if you're on the go, you might not have the Perry bottle. I know some people, they'll take like a water bottle and like poke a hole through the cap of it, like a plastic water bottle and use that. But honestly, I don't always think about bringing a water bottle with me. So more often times than not, I just don't have a water bottle with me if I'm like out and about. You can always use more wipes and just do it that way. Yeah, after you're done with that, you're gonna wash your hands. If you wanna add a little scent, you can usually a lot of us keep like little hand lotions and little sprays with us so lotion down your arms or any exposed skin same thing with your spray also put on fresh clothes if need be but that's basically all some other things that i think might be just nice to keep on hand for hygienic reasons antibacterial hand wipe i just keep these in my car and if you eat or are about to eat it's nice to just kind of like think that you're like wiping stuff off but yeah these are nice to have another thing that's good to have is a tight to go pen yeah i spill stuff on myself all the time especially when i was at work i used to spill stuff on myself at lunch so this was actually came in clutch at my job a lot yeah this is just nice you have to really shake it and you just press it into the stain and usually it gets out things especially if it's pretty fresh last but not least a little mirror is always nice to have mine is really dirty and it, it kind of stays dirty you can get these off amazon there's a whole bunch of different kinds and it's just nice to have a compact mirror that you can look at yourself and know what you look like and feel content but that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed the video please comment down any suggestions or any tips that you might have down below i would love to know more i'm always learning if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like content like this because i'll be putting out more so i'll see y'all in the next one peace peace out mm -hmm.